Are you ready? Hello everybody. Welcome to my RC Babies video. Let's start. Okay. Challenge. Let. Hello everybody. Very good evening to you all. So, my name is RC. Okay, fine, good. So, children, hope you are all enjoying your holidays today. <laughs> holidays this week, yes. Okay, now let's start with a warm up because we want many students to join in. So, till then, let's begin with our warm up session. Okay? Okay. Yes. Come on, children, everybody. Stand up from your places now, all of yes. you. Stand up from your place. Okay. Fine. And let's do the warm up now. Start jumping, children, everybody. Jump, 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 jump. Like, like this. Like this. Jump, 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 jump. Very good. Turn around. Look. Turn okay. around. Turn around. Turn around. Very good. Now stop. Everybody bend forward and touch your toes. And bend backwards as much as possible. Once again bend forward and touch your toes. And bend backwards as much as possible. I will count to 8 for you. Okay. You have yes. to do it 8 times. Start. 1, 2, don't move your legs. Okay. Uh, up. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. Now, can I have you? No, no, not, you're not done yet. Stand here. Can I have you all put your hands on your hips and rotate your hips round four times clockwise, four times anti clockwise. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, children, can I have you all put your hands on your shoulders? Hands on your shoulders. And rotate your elbows round. One, two, three, four. Come on, children, everybody. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Very nice. Thank you so much, dear parents. Okay, Go fine. <laughs> all right. Now, can I have you all put your hands forward, everybody? Put your hands forward like this and rotate your wrist round. I'll count through eight for you all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Good job. Now, shake your hands, everybody. Come on, children, shake your hands. Like this. Yes. Shake your legs. Shake your legs, stand up one by one, one after one. You have to just shake uh, like that. Okay. Now, come and sit in your places, all of you. Yes. Okay, fine. Sit all of us. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, you just have to sit quiet. Okay, you shouldn't do like that. Uh, mm. All right, fine. So, now, everybody, you have to nicely close your eyes. Close your eyes, all of you. Let's all do the meditation. Can I have you all roll your fingers just like this? Palms facing, <laughs> palms facing upside. Place it on your laps. And now close your eyes. See like this. Yes. Okay. You have to place it on your lap. You should not move like that. Like close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. In. Out. Very good. Close your eyes and sit calm for some time. This is a meditation. Okay. You should not move. Okay. Right. Fine. Now, can I have you all rub your palms together and put it onto your eyes? Once again, rub your palms together and put it onto your eyes. Okay, fine. Now slowly open your eyes and look into your palms. A very warm morning to you all, little ones. How are you all feeling today? Great. How are you feeling today? Yes. Great. Right, fine. I'm so excited. 
Right. You're so excited. Wait, you shouldn't be excited. You have to calm down. Okay. Right. Now. I'm so excited. No, you should not be excited. Oh. Why? Because this is online class. Wait. Hmm. So now, children, in today's class, I'm going to tell you the importance of writing. Uh, hi, Razik. Say hi to Razik. Hi, Razik. How are you? How are you? Mm, very good. Hope you are doing great, Razik. So, in today's class, I'm going to specially tell parents about how to teach your kids writing and how important teaching is for them. Okay? Alright, fine. So, we are going to... Janvi, Janavi. Yes, we are from Hyderabad. Right, fine. So, let's see. So, dear parents, please, please listen to me. Uh, today, we are going to tell you about how important writing is for young kids. Okay? So, for any child to have a great creativity, we have Kidzi Preschool. Yes. For any child to have great creativity or great thinking skills, it is very important for them to learn to write. Okay. So, I know it is young kids like these kids don't know how to write, isn't it? So, how will they express? They have to express it. They have to express it through drawings, okay? Drawing, if they are very creative enough to express their skills through drawing, then lately they will be very great at writing too, all right? Fine. So now, why it is very important for any child to learn writing? Let me tell you. So before I tell you this let us give her a drawing she will complete the drawing and in the meantime i will tell you how you have to start your kids with writing when you have to start teach them writing and what are the different ways you can teach them writing or why is it very important the part of writing in a child's life okay i'll explain to you all this before we start i will give her a white paper and let her draw whatever she thinks of. Like, uh, she recently joined for swimming classes. Yeah. Yes. So, I'm going to swimming. Um, Monday, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday. I'm every day. Every day, day I'm going to swimming. swimming. Yes. So, she joined swimming classes. So, I have not been there because she goes with her dad. So, let me once uh, see. I have not visualized dad how... Dad also say... Yes, both of us are... They are going. So, let... I don't and know... And daddy also swimming. Alright, fine. So, let me just ask her... Let me just ask her how she is learning swimming. I have not seen anything there. So, she wants to draw and show it to us. Come on, take this. You, you, uh, what will you draw? Will you show us your swimming pool, yourself, yes. yourself, how you are uh, learning and everything, how your swimming pool looks like, everything? Do you, yes. Can you draw and show it to me? Okay. All right, fine. Do you want to place it here? It will be convenient no. for you. No, it's okay. Or you, you can draw here also, no problem. Once we are done, we'll call. No, it's okay. If you are... Okay, fine. Take your own time. You can draw slowly. Okay. Right. Yeah. You want to put it here? No problem. Wait. So, let her draw here. I'll show you. Yes. After you are done, we will see. In the meantime, yeah. you can draw. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, let me explain to you why writing is very important for young learners okay let me tell you everything about writing how important writing is and in this age group all right once you are done you can tell us okay 
so chil uh, children listen to me so this is this today's class is mainly for parents for you to make you understand uh, why is uh, writing a very important part of our life and why you should make your kids write so some parents think that that's okay they will learn it lately in life that's okay why is it very important to learn to write at this very young age so there are so many perceptions about writing in a child's life right so let me tell you it is very important for anybody because do you yeah so today's class is totally about helping our young children develop strong writing skills so as i told to you since they are very young and they cannot write at this age it is always very important for them to let draw and express whatever they are thinking so as i already told you we have given her a uh, activity like she uh, we are going to see how she is going to uh, her swimming classes how it looks like and all those visuals we will see i don't know what she is going to draw let's see it later so in today's class i would like to tell you writing is a very important part of our daily life because um, see writing is just like any other skill to master uh, because uh, i'll tell you why in the very early age in the school we are supposed to write everything then only it is said that uh, you are you are given marks right and as you grow old we have to write a resume or we have to write a article or we have to write letters we have to write messages we have to uh, write uh, for example yes legal notices everything is in writing why because writing is a very very and one and only one important way of communicating and which is believed to be true to its knowledge so writing has never waved off from our lives writing I, i'm not talking about handwriting here i'm talking about uh, the skill of writing okay so how can you build that skill in the child so you have to start it in the very early age uh, so i'll tell you what writing uh, in order to complete our task see we usually write a supermarket list or we write letters everything so writing is involved in our day to day life which we have not realized actually all right so for this in for kids also as i told you assessments exams everything they are asked to write a essay or they are asked to give a scenario and asked to write because writing will uh, with the help of writing we can estimate their iq level how uh, intelligent they are with respect to your concept and all correct so yes. writing as such you are done sorry yes i'm talking about your drawing you are done with it all right fine so uh, she is done with it let me show you no no you are not done i'm oh, look i'm done okay What? and Uh, I want colors. Colors. Ah, Sasha, you want colors? Pretty. Okay, answer. But yeah. no, no. If you if you color, we will not understand. Once you show, explain it to us like this, and then you go and color. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Look at this. All right, fine. Hey, this is me. This is my swimming shirt. Sit down, sit down, and explain. Yes, wait. Hmm. Okay, fine. Look. Look here. Here. Okay. This is me. This is. Hmm. I'll hold it for you. Wait. All right. Fine. Now explain. This is my shirt, swimming shirt. This is me. This is steps. This is all of other other uh, 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 other swimmers, huh? Other swimmers. Okay. 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 And this is swimming pool. All right, fine. So I have not, uh, I'm not been to her swimming classes yet because she goes with her father. So see, this is how a swimming pool looks like. So if you look at this picture, it is easily understood what she is doing or visualizing there. Okay, the I show you with colors. Okay, let her show with colors also. See, I can see somebody are swimming by their own. And did you, you, if you closely observe the picture, she has depicted everything very clearly. Uh, let me show it to you the details here this is she herself she, uh, since she is uh, learning she is here holding a rod can you see that and she has not drawn herself somewhere in the middle of the swimming pool okay uh, and then 
she has drawn herself very next to the staircase that means maybe she is also her place is here just beside the steps in the swimming pool so just try to understand that's what is what i'm able to see here in this picture and if you see she is having a cap like this swim cap correct whereas her sir who is outside the pool is not having any cap because he is outside she has not given a cap the other swimmers she has given a cap so did you understand how detailed they are with respect oh, no. to swimming i i have a cap yes you have I a cap. cap that's what i'm saying you you all are inside the water so she gave a cap and we still have to see look at this very clearly and understand the clues of what's happening i think so she is allowed to hold this rod and then just flip her legs in the water yes that's why she kept it like this yes that's what flipping the legs mm okay and her expression she is happy at that time and this is I'm her i'm very very happy um going to my swimming pool and going to my ticket and going to my walking and going to my skating i love this okay thank you thank you all right fine so and this is her sir holding her hand maybe yes What? here your sir will hold you yes while swimming that's why she did it like that like this okay so if you can look at this picture it is clearly understood see as an adult uh, once a 5 year old girl did this as an adult we are able to interrupt exactly the scene what is happening there so this is this is the type of creativity we want from young kids so since she is very young she just drew it and sh showed it to us as she is growing no, no crayons no, no painting no, no. only i want sketch pens and we have sketch pens no no this is for me to write you have to, your crayons in your room go and get no? this is for me to write this is for mommy and i'm going to my you go to your room and get your crayons or whatever yes bye so uh so once she grows up gradually she will think and write down it like what's happening at her swimming class in a story so that will develop the writing skills of a child here i'm not talking about handwriting i'm typically talking about the writing skills how to inculcate writing skills in kids once they grow up 5th 6th 7th class they they will not know how to write and all because we have not developed that kind of uh, environment created that kind of environment in them correct so uh, when they are very young like this if you allow them to draw you have to talk to them so there are so many ways where you can develop their writing skills or writing abilities as they are growing as i told you this has to be started when they are very young here so the other day the other day when we have our cousins at home uh, they asked her to draw a scene like from last year okay so i would like to show you how she did that okay my daughter is 5 year old she is 2017 born 2017 she is 5 years now okay so let me show you what she i don't know if i ah acha i have it yeah so look here this is what she last week when my cousins are here uh, she just did this one and then i uh, showed it to us can you observe this picture this is last year when one of our family members expired her grandfather this is how she showed what did you see on that day when we asked her she drew this and then showed it to us can you observe here there are so many clues that she you can draw with this okay color with this yes no okay okay so see if you observe this picture she has left us left us with so many clues here can you observe here see she have given all sad faces sad faces here see all sad faces here and everybody are crying she has given so many clues here see this is just a sleeping body with no legs if they uh, she can she would have drawn two legs but then she did not do that so look at her 
uh, visual skills so what i tell to all the parents is visualizing things is very very important for kids and then you have to encourage them to draw it pen down so that is when we will understand what is there in their brains right see and this one no expression can you see this one it is not smiley it is not sad without any expression there is also see how perfectly she has drawn everything with the expressions everybody are holding here isn't it so this is how a child can draw they can draw everything and anything just that you have to allow them ask them and see this is when her grandfather takes her out on bike smiley face and she is so happy and laughing like this so to the supermarket okay so this is how she can express yeah phonics classes will start from monday i will reply you all because we have so many inquiries it is taking time for me to reply to everybody otherwise yes i will reply to you all phonics classes and online preschool classes both are starting from monday okay new batch of phonics and then online preschooling is going to get started from monday all right parents so drawing is the beginning of creative writing for kids this is what i would want to show you with an example of my daughter so by by uh, she is now 5 years so now you can understand but then you know what this drawing she did when she is 4 years this is last year only not now last year 4 years means ideally as per my understanding a 4 year child should be able to visualize some scene and should be able to draw and show it to us okay now i will quickly give you some tips on uh, uh, what can you do like how can you help your child become a strong writer okay so you have to provide them with lot of papers first so you shouldn't you are right here right you have to provide them with lot of papers pencils crayons markers everything with respect to the writing material okay so they will use it like the way they want to they can draw scribble anything but then provide them with the material you should uh, and of course you have to worry about if they are scribbling it here and there but then you should explain to them that you have to write only on papers and then you shouldn't write anywhere else inside the house okay next and then before getting started uh, you have to provide them with lots of material and then you have to give you have to prepare them to brainstorm for example now when she was sitting here i was asking her about a scene so let her think about that scene for some time and then let her pen down okay uh, you have to have patience because this may not happen in just a day or so but we have to keep encouraging kids now for example i can also tell her about instances happened in her life like Uh, her fifth birthday maybe so if i can tell her what did we you uh, what did we do on your fifth birthday so she she'll draw something and then show it to us and then she will start explaining the picture all right so you have to give them ideas to brainstorm and then to draw all right now okay. next okay um come on i'm show you my color Okay, I'm drawing my color. Okay, you first finish drawing. We'll see later. Okay. Mm, all right, fine. So let me tell you, give you some tips on how to help your kids with writing. Okay. Mm. So then, uh, ask your child to tell simple stories. Okay, like for example. uh for example recently if there is any festival or if there is any meeting happened with your cousins or in a grandparents house ask them to tell what has happened there so that you will understand how visually uh, attentive they are in that uh, event or then location then uh, if your child is able to write then encourage your child to write and then show it to you in few lines if your child is not able to write then ask them to draw and show it to you okay and then um, in the day to day activities also uh, 
if your child is bit older like first second class you just have to leave them some notes very good good night good morning notes maybe at where and at the bed or like in the kitchen or maybe in the lunch box like that okay and uh, as you are uh, you also should keep writing something so that they will understand that writing is something important like as parents even we have to include writing somewhere in our life okay because that is a skill that is a skill that cannot be developed at the later stages of life you have to develop it right from the very young age that's why and then encourage the child to take notes like for example uh, you are going to visit ramoji film city okay then you just give her a book before you visit there a small white book and then ask her to uh, write down or then note down or draw whatever she sees or whatever she feels each and every single page they will create a drawing and we will be so surprised to look at that otherwise if your child is of age who is able to write let them write something and then later if you can look at it then you will be so surprised to see what all things or what are clues they got from that new place okay they can describe about the nature or whatever they are seeing about that okay so whenever you go to trip make sure you give them a small diary and a pen or a pencil so that they will at least write few things what they have noticed or draw something what they have noticed all right and encourage your child to read story books or uh, any other books because and then ask them to write down whatever they have liked in that book and um, help your child write some messages to their friends or relatives or send something uh, some i i mean to say some notes like a drawing greeting anything because writing is the only way to communicate Ima imagine writing is the only very important way to communicate all right now now next what you have to do is you have to spend some time with your kids so all the parents should specifically take some time and then spend it with your kids because you have to spend time with them maybe it is you should never think it is waste of time now for example she is scribbling something that's okay let her scribble but then you just have to allocate some time for them so that is when they feel that this is important okay and then um, let them think let them do whatever they like to do all right and then respond to their writings or when once they did something then you have to talk about it you have to make them feel that whatever they have done is important praise your child's writings or drawings look and don't correct them too much because that's okay once they grow up once they grow up they will uh, they will learn everything yes don't do not correct them so much unless and until it is really very wrong and then uh, and avoid writing for your child you shouldn't rewrite the child's work or you shouldn't uh, uh, you should allow them to write first you shouldn't take their responsibility and then finish the work okay look because my it is always important that you should make your mm -hmm. yes this is her drawing look at that how she did that swimming pool is full of blue color water huh very good it's very cute we like your drawing so much so welcome thank you all right fine we are we are so happy to have you here now you can go and play say bye to your friends bye friends see you tomorrow very good all right fine so next wait 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 the class is not yet over so and then uh, uh this is what i can tell you about writing so first now let me tell you how to start and at what age to start with writing okay so once the child is 2 and 1/2 years old you can start with writing all right once the child is 2 and 1/2 year old you can start with writing because that is ideally the best age to put your child into play school okay once the child is 2 and 1/2 years now i will tell you there might be so many parents out there who don't know where to start right so before you start teaching alphabet it is very important for you all to teach the strokes all right strokes and curves we have five strokes and five curves total 10 so, so let me show you what they are and how you have to let your child practice that you should always if you have a preschooler at home you should have a a4 size paper bundle at home all right 
what to teach after what to teach after numbers and writing is you should enroll them in a preschool then they will teach and you just have to follow <laughs> all right fine so dear parents for those who are coming to my channel for the first time we have online live live preschool classes for kids for 6 months course okay uh, in the deet in the description box below or you can go back and check on my channel you have my phone number there you can whatsapp me for more details we have a 6 months course for online preschooling and we also have a phonics class for 3 months okay so you can just uh, ping me if you are interested in joining your kids to our school all right and here now i am going to show you some worksheets for toddlers who are of 2 and 1/2 year old okay i know now there are so many parents who are very very excited about teaching their kids something before they are getting into a preschool right so if you can make sure your kids are learning these tense strokes before getting into a preschool your job will be very very easy once they get into the school okay so let me show you the 10 strokes today okay do you yes do you want to finish these worksheets baby come so children look here dear parents this is the first worksheet standing line we call it standing line standing line all right standing line standing line so this is how you have to give worksheets to your kids now i am going to explain to you 10 strokes so how many days you should ideally take to make sure your child will learn this is each and every stroke you should take one week standing line for one week yes if the child doesn't know how to write where you have to start you have to start with this standing line that is for 10 days okay fine understood standing line for 10 days not 10 days sorry one week for a very absolute beginner who doesn't know how to hold a pencil all right so in the initial days you can give them a marker also because i know it is very difficult for them to hold a pencil for a child to hold properly they should have a good pencil grip that is a different concept i will explain to you in the next class so so the first stroke is standing line then after this what this is the stroke number 1 and the second one is sleeping line sleeping line okay and the second one is sleeping line sleeping line you have to see did you observe here this is for absolute beginners this is this is for those kids who have not started writing yet and if there are any parents who are interested in joining to our online classes you can whatsapp me i'll give you the details okay we have live classes happening every day in the evening time okay so you can come back and then enquire about the online preschool classes in our online preschool classes we have drawing uh, we have a uh, reading comprehensions everything we have only for preschoolers who are of 4 5 year old and we also have phonics classes for kids this is sleeping line sleeping line sleeping line so yes yes we can give online coaching for kids that's what i'm saying you can whatsapp me on See here. If you want to enroll your child to our online preschool, you have to WhatsApp me on the given number so that I will reply to you. Okay. This is the sleeping line. So first standing line for one week. After that sleeping line for the other week. then after standing line and sleeping line 
you have slanting lines each for one more week okay slanting lines slanting lines so this is the slanting line so did you observe here parents we are teaching the child the starting point and the ending point that is very very important did you ever observe the kids will generally start scribbling there is no starting and end point ideally correct but then when you draw like this then it is understood you have to explain to them this is the start this is the end you should not go beyond this then they will understand Achha, okay fine since they she gave it start and stop i have to start here and stop here okay this is for absolute beginners two and a half year old kids okay this is what you have to teach them so this worksheet for before you just go and rush and buy books, this is what you have to do. We don't need books at this early age. We need lots of practice in A4 size papers like this, okay? This is a sleeping line. After this is over, each and every worksheet you have to do like this for them. Then slanting line. This is a slanting line. Same again. Start and end line and then they have to practice it for a week's time. Right slanting line, then left slanting line. Okay, after that is over, then crooked line. See here, but don't forget to give dots to join the starting and ending line because they don't know which, which, uh, see you have to give dotted lines like this. This is a slanting line pattern. This is another slanting line pattern and this is a crooked line. So now that we have finished five types of line patterns see standing line pattern first one week second week sleeping line pattern third week slanting line patterns fourth week another slanting line fifth week crooked line so ideally it will take about a month for a absolute beginner child to understand about lines all right so once you are done with this then you have to move on to the Second type of strokes, we call it curve strokes. This is called line strokes. Okay. This is called line strokes. And the second type of strokes we call curve strokes. So we also have five types of curve strokes. Like the way we have five line strokes, we also have five curve strokes. So let me show you what are the five curve strokes. Okay. Curve strokes. Let me show you the curve strokes now. We also have five curve strokes. They are left curve, right curve, up curve, down curve. So these curves for another month. So total two months only for a beginner to understand to write curves, uh, line strokes and then curve strokes only. Okay. So in the beginning parents should have lots and lots of patience because they are going to learn it for the first time. So we cannot expect them to learn it in a day or so. We have to give them ample time for them to understand things. If they are understanding as parents, we shouldn't mess up everything, right? You have to wait. You have to have patience. Look here. These are the curve strokes. These are the five curve strokes we have. Okay. These are the five curve strokes. We have left curve, right curve, up curve, down curve, circle. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. These are the five curve strokes that we have to give to a child to trace. Okay. So line strokes is over. Five line strokes, five types of line strokes, five types of curve strokes. After a child is highly confident about Slanting line, we have left slanting line, right slanting line. Okay. 
slanting line C. Left slanting line, right slanting line, crooked line, sleeping line and standing line. Okay. These are the five line strokes. Each and every line stroke you have to give for one week. After that is over, then only we are going to move to the curve strokes. Here are the five curve strokes. Left, right, up, down and circle. You have to say round. Okay. This is for another five weeks. Because in the beginning, a two and a half year old kid, you cannot expect them to do anything more than this. And you have to give time for them to understand. Okay. Then after these 10 strokes are over, now you have to explain them writing letters. Whichever letter you want with your instructions, they will write only if you have given them ample time to practice all this. Otherwise, they will not write. For example, if your child is perfect with all these strokes, imagine, then how will we start with letters? Give two to three months of the time for your child to understand strokes only. Then they will write everything. See. Make your, you want your child to write letter A after this. You should give them instructions. Draw, you have to write letter A like this like this letter formation you have to show to them and then give them dotted here patterns don't buy books for kids at home just i want you to buy only one a4 size paper and markers like this and then give them as much work as possible okay now I want you to create a worksheet like this for your kids and then ask them to write. What will you tell them? Draw a left slanting line, a right slanting line and a sleeping line. Which letter is this? A. A. Can you all repeat it after me? Letter A. Now once again. Let's try it. Left slanting line, right slanting line, a sleeping line. A. Do you like to try it one more time? Left slanting line, right slanting line, and one sleeping line makes the letter A. What is the phonic sound of letter A? A. 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 A says a, 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 apple. All right, children. So this is how you have to teach your kids all the letters. Now, how do you teach letter B? Standing line, right curve, right curve. B, same. You have to do this worksheet with them for one week again. Again, yes. Once you are done with the curves and strokes, it depends upon the frequency of your child how quickly they are learning then left curve c standing line right curve d one standing line three sleeping lines e one standing line one sleeping line one more sleeping line makes letter f curve standing line Standing line, G. One standing line, one standing line, one sleeping line makes letter H. One standing line, one sleeping line on the top, one sleeping line on the makes letter I. Like this, you have to teach kids all the letters with standing sleeping curves. Okay. And this is how you have to teach them alphabet first. Once your child understands writing alphabets, little bit of alphabets, then you have to teach them numbers. Before you teach them numbers, you must have already taught them numbers orally 1 to 10. You must have already taught them counting also 1, 2 and all. Otherwise, they'll get confused between numbers and alphabet again. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you have to teach them how to write number one. 
and you have to do that only after you have finished teaching them a set of alphabet okay and now for those how to teach subtraction maybe i can tell it to you in the next class but again we also have online preschool uh, you can interested parents can enroll your child to our online preschool classes which happens every day evening monday to friday at uh, four o'clock it starts from four five seven so we have so many batches like that in the evening so parents who are interested in enrolling your kids to our online classes you can just whatsapp us i have given you the details there here in the description box below you can also go back to my channel and then get in touch with me and one more thing we also have online phonics classes so parents who are interested for phonics can also register we have a three months phonics course in which we make sure the child will learn to read the story books of their age age relevant story books only okay so that's all for today maybe i'll see you again in the next class till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see you again parents bye